Imagine Titano Boa, the largest snake to ever slither across the earth. This colossal serpent, stretching over 50 feet long and weighing more than a car, ruled the ancient swamps with an iron grip. But was Titano Boa truly invincible, or did nightmares slither alongside it? Other prehistoric predators capable of striking fear even into this titan's cold, reptilian heart. In this journey back to a time when giants roamed, we'll meet some contenders, serpents so impressive, so terrifying that they might have given Titano Boa a serious case of ophidiophobia, the fear of snakes. Our first contender hails from the lush, verdant landscapes of Paleogene Africa, a time when the continent was teeming with life and the jungles were dense and untamed. This formidable creature is none other than the monstrous serpent known as Gigantophus, a name that strikes fear into the hearts of those who dare to imagine its presence. Gigantophus was a behemoth of a snake, reaching impressive lengths of over 30 feet. While it might seem diminutive compared to the colossal Titanoboa, don't let its size fool you. This serpent was a master of its domain. Gigantophus had a specialized diet that set it apart from other predators of its time. It had a particular fondness for devouring large prey, including prehistoric elephants, which roamed the ancient landscapes. But its diet didn't stop there. Gigantophus was also known to consume other snakes, showcasing its versatility and dominance in the food chain. Imagine the sheer audacity and chilling confidence of a predator that hunts its own kind. Gigantophus didn't shy away from attacking and consuming other snakes, even those as massive as Titanoboa. This behavior highlights its aggressive nature and its ability to take on formidable opponents. While size might favor Titanoboa in a direct confrontation, Gigantophus's specialized diet and aggressive nature paint a vivid picture of a serpent that wouldn't hesitate to put up a fight. Its willingness to hunt and consume other large snakes suggests that it could potentially turn the tables on a young or vulnerable Titanoboa, making it a formidable contender in the prehistoric world. Next, we travel to late Cretaceous India, home to Sanaje, a snake with a taste for the extraordinary. This 11-foot-long serpent wouldn't win any size contest against Titanoboa, but its diet is the stuff of nightmares. Sanaje specialized in hunting dinosaurs, particularly their vulnerable young. Fossil evidence shows Sanaje coiled around a sauropod nest, ready to feast on hatchlings. This audacity, this blatant disregard for even the mightiest of dinosaurs, suggests a fearlessness that could unnerve even Titanoboa. Imagine Sanaje, small but nimble, darting between Titanoboa's coils, a constant prickly threat to its eggs and young. Our journey takes us now to the mysterious Matsoya, a creature that has intrigued scientists and enthusiasts alike for decades. This snake is shrouded in enigma, with its origins and habits still largely unknown. Boasting a global distribution across millions of years, Matsoya's fossils have been unearthed in various parts of the world from South America to Africa. While size estimates vary wildly, ranging from 20 to 50 feet, the true scale of this ancient serpent remains a topic of debate among paleontologists. One thing is certain, Matsoya was a formidable predator, a giant among snakes that ruled its prehistoric domain with an iron grip. Its massive jaws and robust skull hint at a powerful bite, capable of crushing bones and overpowering its prey with ease. Picture this, a snake so powerful that it could take down large prey, perhaps even rivaling the mighty Titanoboa in its hunting prowess. Titanoboa, accustomed to being the biggest, baddest snake in the swamp, suddenly encountering Matsoya, a rival potentially matching it in size and ferocity. Imagine the tension as these two colossal serpents face off, each one a master of its environment, each one unwilling to back down. The ensuing clash of titans would be nothing short of spectacular, a battle for dominance that would echo through the ages. In the dense, humid jungles and swamps of prehistoric Earth, such a confrontation would be a sight to behold, a true spectacle of nature's raw power. This battle for dominance in a prehistoric paradise would be a spectacle for the ages, a dramatic showdown that would leave an indelible mark on the annals of natural history. From the heart of prehistoric Australia emerges Wanambi, a colossal constrictor that ruled its ecosystem with terrifying efficiency. Reaching lengths of up to 20 feet, Wanambi lacked venom but compensated with sheer brute strength, ambushing and crushing its prey with bone-crushing force. Imagine Titanoboa venturing into Wanambi's domain, perhaps seeking new hunting grounds or driven by some ancient reptilian rivalry. The ensuing confrontation, a battle of constriction versus constriction, would be a slow, agonizing dance of death, a testament to the brutal power of these ancient serpents.
While Titanoboa ruled the swamps, the prehistoric oceans teemed with their own serpentine terrors. Giant sea snakes like Paleophis, reaching lengths of over 30 feet, patrolled the waves, their streamlined bodies and powerful tails making them formidable hunters. While a direct confrontation with Titanoboa is unlikely given their different habitats, the sheer size and ferocity of these marine monsters highlight the diversity and deadliness of prehistoric snakes. Imagine Titanoboa basking on a riverbank, catching a glimpse of these massive serpents cruising through the water, a chilling reminder that its reign wasn't absolute. The existence of these massive and terrifying snakes raises an intriguing question. How did they all coexist? The answer lies in a complex web of ecological factors, including competition for resources, geographical separation, and specialized hunting strategies. Titanoboa, with its massive size, likely occupied the top of the food chain in its ecosystem, preying on large mammals, reptiles, and even fish. However, other snakes like Gigantophis and Sanaje carved out their own niches, targeting specific prey and exploiting different hunting grounds. Size isn't everything, Venom's vicious role. While Titanoboa relied on its size and constriction to overpower prey, other snakes evolved a far more insidious weapon Venom. While fossil evidence for Venom in prehistoric snakes is scarce, it's highly likely that many possessed this deadly adaptation. Imagine a scenario where Titanoboa, despite its size, falls victim to the venomous bite of a smaller, more agile serpent. The Venom, a potent cocktail of neurotoxins and hemotoxins, courses through its massive body, slowly shutting down its organs and leading to an agonizing demise. Could they have coexisted? A question of time and place. The question of whether Titanoboa ever crossed paths with these other serpentine terrors is a tantalizing one. While fossil evidence doesn't provide a definitive answer, it's plausible that their paths crossed either directly or indirectly. Perhaps Titanoboa competed with Madsoya for territory and resources, their encounters resulting in epic battles that shook the very foundations of their prehistoric ecosystems. Or maybe Titanoboa lived in fear of the venomous bite of a smaller, more elusive serpent, always wary of a surprise attack. A world ruled by serpents, imagine that! The existence of these massive and terrifying snakes paints a vivid picture of a world ruled by reptilian overlords. Imagine a time when every shadow, every rustle in the undergrowth could signal the presence of a deadly serpent. Titanoboa, despite its size and power, wouldn't be immune to the fear and respect commanded by these other prehistoric predators. Conclusion giving Titanoboa a run for its money. While Titanoboa rightfully earns its place as the largest snake to ever grace our planet, it wasn't alone in its prehistoric dominance. From the dinosaur dining Sanaje, a snake that feasted on the eggs and young of dinosaurs, to the massive and enigmatic Madzoya, a serpent that roamed the ancient landscapes with a fearsome presence, other serpentine terrors lurked in the shadows each with their own unique adaptations and hunting strategies. These ancient snakes were not just large, they were apex predators in their own right. Each species had evolved to dominate their environment, whether through sheer size, speed, or venomous bites. These snakes, with their sheer size, ferocious appetites, and potential for venomous bites, were formidable adversaries. Their presence in the prehistoric world created a dynamic and dangerous ecosystem they would have given even Titanoboa a run for its money, challenging its reign as the ultimate predator. Perhaps in the dense jungles and swamps of the past, Titanoboa might have experienced a rare moment of fear, a shiver of ophidiophobia, as it encountered these other colossal serpents.